Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got a very special ROM for the Nexus 5. This is called the Chroma ROM for the Nexus 5. So stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, as you may know, I recently moved to a Nexus 5 for my few usages. So I've been trying to get a very stable ROM for some time now and it is, and I see a very very good ROM in this one. So it is called the Chroma ROM, it's a very very basic, I mean I want to say it's a minimalistic ROM but it does have a lot of features. So yeah, uh, first of all let's get into the ROM now, first of all what you will see here is the lock screen which is the standard lock screen for Lollipop. So nothing special and we have the launcher which is the normal launcher also so it's not really cool I mean it is the launcher 3 which is with the lollipop AOSP ROM so you can actually have that so that's really nice uh, moving over to now something which I want to uh, tell you guys right off the bat is that it isn't something you will uh, okay now the apps which I got with the ROM were not much. I guess it's because the download I uh, got was an OTA update. It w it didn't really have the camera app. It didn't really have uh, the messaging app. It still not have the messaging app, and stuff like that are a bit different. So it, I didn't really get any of those. So uh, you have to install your own. So I guess that is a good ex uh, example of how a ROM should be because it gives you choices, and I personally wouldn't really have used Google camera or the AOSP camera but this does give you an option to use something like that so that's really cool let's get into the settings now first of all in the settings menu what you would see here in the about phone page is that it is an XS5 it is Android based on 5.1.1 and the kernel is this one I guess it's a stock kernel so you can have that um, so yeah there's nothing special I mean you can see the chroma build date is 1st September which is the latest version as of making this video right now so you have that uh, so yeah that is it in the about phone page as I've said this is a very minimalistic ROM it has only the essential features which I consider essential at least so yeah it does have super so integrated so you will get a uh, super so here so it does work out super so does work now I'm going to talk a bit about layers because that is this is my first encounter with layers and it is really cool um, this ROM does support layers uh, right off the bat it doesn't require any modification it is a layer supported ROM so yeah now in the extra settings you do have something called the chroma personalization option so let's get into that one now first things first you can get a uh, page where it, it says what the ROM is so you can get to their Google Plus hangout now OTA notifications I was getting uh, I am getting uh, a FC issue with this I'm not really able to use it so I'm not going to get too much into that uh, so yeah all of these developer hundred members you can actually get into them and you can go for the uh, you can click them and well yeah that's it so it's there now in the option settings you have a few options first of all is status bar options in the battery style settings you can actually change the way the battery looks so you can have icon portrait the battery percentage inside the icon outside the icon in your of that brightness control by sliding across the status bar you can also select that so that is a really good feature show notification count on the status bar rather than each individual icon so you can have that quick pull down on the side left side right side whatever you want so that is also available so that's really nice um, network traffic indicator you can have arrows which uh, which state how much traffic is going through your phone so it's certainly not gigabits per second but hey it's there so you can use that show weather in the notification panel it will show weather here but uh, my location is so weird that it's not able to get my location so yeah clock widget this is a C clock widget from C CM ROMs which was well initially from CM ROMs now every ROM uses that so it is really cool I mean you can actually enable or disable tons of functions in this you can get a lot of stuff you can customize the weather panel all of that is available here so that's really nice now quick setting panel is really cool I mean this is one of the essential features right now so you can add a few extra settings like battery saver expanded desktop hotspot enabler uh, screenshot sync all of that can be enabled and that does work I mean it's nothing special I mean uh, I would have liked a lot of more options but they are specific to me so uh, no problems there so yeah enlarge first to row which is a lollipop thing you can actually disable that to have everything in the same size also it does have a four tile per row stuff so that you will have more in one page so that it 
well it's cool i guess i, I really like that one now in the navigation bar options you do have a few ones uh, you have buttons and layout you can in, you can actually change whatever is here you can add a few stuff so you can have that empty button you can disable that so that is cool you can actually enable that uh now bar height is also adjustable you can keep it smaller to have more real estate here so you can also have that show arrows while typing so that you can actually use to uh move the cursor around so that is also very useful navigation ring target you have three ring targets you can actually customize each one for different function like lock the screen or something like that uh, so that is really nice uh, show clear all button now in the uh, settings right now there's no clear all button you can enable clear all button in this all location so this is my favorite location so you can actually enable that show search bar in recent menu if you have google search enabled you can actually have a uh, search bar in the recent menus for quick access gestures now gestures are really really nice mainly this is a basic version of gestures nothing like a uh, gesture anywhere which i really really like uh, this is mainly for locking your device so uh, status bar double tap is enabled so you can double tap the status bar to lock your device the navigation bus uh, double tap is something which I would use because it's much easier to reach that will also lock your device so that is there now lock screen double tap is also something which I really like which is like uh, this one I can double tap the lock screen to actually uh, lock your device rather than pressing the button again because uh, for someone who just want to know the time and date and all that uh, it's, it's, it's pretty useful it also has three finger gesture which you if you swipe with your three fingers it will take a screenshot of it lock screen options you can actually enable disable the carrier label in the lock screen or, or you can have lock screen status bar whatever you want you can actually enable that in status bar also and also you can have a custom carrier label so you can brandize whatever you want also wallpaper option that is really just a basic one you can also clear lock screen wallpapers so you will not have any wallpapers in the lock screen which is specific so it will just show the uh, launcher based wallpaper power menu options you have a few limited options in power menu you can enable all of these so that you your lock screen will your power menu will locate or show these stuff so it's it's simple volume rocker options now this is something which i really appreciate because volume rocker rake is something you may use after you have you have killed your power button volume rocker music controls which is really really good really useful if you are using your phone for your musics media control with the uh, with the volume key uh, volume key adjustment now what, what this does is that it disables your uh, right now it's in the uh, caller ringtone if you enable this this will actually go for the music than the caller uh, alerting voice so sound so you can actually change that volume key cursor control when using keyboard that is also something which i really like if you are not a big fan of the navigation bar key arrow keys you can use this one to actually change that so that's also really cool that is it in the chroma settings which is a really really uh as i have already said these are the basic stuff which you will probably need to use in your phone so that is really cool what else do we have in the display setting you do have brightness level these are small settings i mean as i've said it does doesn't have any of the uh, clunk which is associated with a lot of USB ROMs like CM. I'm not saying CM is clunky, but this goes to another level of declunking everything. So that's really nice. Uh, sound and notification, these are similar to what you would expect in any other Lollipop ROM. Now it does have a notification light setting, so you can actually change the notification color uh, to something. So it does have that enabled, so you can actually use that. So yeah it's really cool so that is it in these special options now this is something which i want to talk about this is layers now this option is not enabled until you ina you install this software which is layers manager so what it does is that it gives you access to that so what is layers it's basically a theme engine nothing special it is overlays on your phone to actually change the look of your phone so that is really really cool I really like this uh, now this is a system level change so it does require a few reboots and all uh, there are a lot of there are tons of free layers available on Play Store and in the website so you can have that I'm just going to show you uh, one layer which I have downloaded which is also free now this is blackish so you can see everything will be black uh, these are the change logs so what all will this change so it will change the USB keyboard Google keyboard whatever if whatever you have installed Gmail hangouts all of these will be changed 
so that is really cool I'm going to install everything so clicking this will install everything and and it will give you a pick a style option so you can have blue orange indigo pink red or teal I'm going to search for red so as to just show you guys so it will give you a warning that installing over is of the vendor system so you can have that so I'm going to install that it will ask um, to reboot right now so yeah I'll be showing you the boot animation on the way so this is the boot animation for chroma rom so which is basic and it's really nice it's simple so I have enabled the uh, layers and you can see that everything is black but as the name suggested it is blackish and with the red accents which I have enabled so you can have that this is red not pink whatever you're seeing so yeah that is layers I so it is basically a theming engine which you can use just with the root and the ROM also needs to be supporting for that so there are a few ROMs which does support it so that is really nice yeah let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which uh, which is erratic by the way I'll talk about that later <laughs> So here you have it, that is the score which I got in this test. So this is the lowest score which I have received, I'm not really sure why this is happening. Uh, I've also done the scoring without layers installed, with every, without anything installed. I've received scores like 40,000, 38,000, 36,000, 34 something, 33,800, which is the lowest yet. So I'm not really sure what to make of it. So. <laughs> Yeah, I've also gotten 38,000 score about two or three times. So I'm going to take that as an almost average, 37, 36 as an average because that is something which I got more times. So yeah, that is it in the benchmarking score. Now this is a very, very, very smooth ROM. I have to give it that because uh, I've used Tamasix ROM. It did have a few graphical glitches. This doesn't seem to have that. This is more based on the AOSP releases so uh, rather than CM sources. So I really really like this one this is probably my bet to go for a uh, daily driver than anything else which I've encountered in the uh, Nexus space which isn't much yes granted but still this is something which I really love like so yeah let me show, talk about the battery life too because battery life is also a very very good thing in this ROM because um, I was able to uh, this is probably my fifth or sixth flash and I have actually used it for one or two days and uh, battery life, I feel the battery life is a very good strong point in this ROM because it does give you a lot of battery for uh, the work you're doing. I was streaming continuously, uh, video. I'm streaming videos continuously, screen on time on this was about 4 hours which is something which I really like coming from my S3 so yeah of course. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video, please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.